update and more information on the tragic death of a ground worker who was sucked into an engine at the Montgomery Regional Airport on New Year's Eve on this episode of Taking Off. Hi, I'm Dan Milliken and we previously reported on the initial news of the ground crew member who was killed when she was sucked into the left engine of an Embraer 175 while parked at the Montgomery Regional Airport in Alabama. If you want to watch that initial report, it's right there. Here are some updates and new information coming out. All right, this tragedy is made worse by the fact that she was a wife and mother of three, leaving behind a very grieving family to start 2023. Also, there have been some reports that the E-175 had an auxiliary power unit out, inoperable. This is not entirely uncommon in the industry, and the airplane can fly without an operating APU. If this was the case, standard procedures would be to communicate with the company's ground crew at the destination airport because they would have to get a cart into position to start the airplane back up after shutdown. So there's a lot of communication going back and forth. And when an airplane's APU is not working, they'll taxi in on one engine, usually the number one or left engine, but not always. The flight crew can choose the number two engine if they want it. And when they are marshaled in with wing walkers and the lead marshaller, he'll bring the aircraft in like normal and stay outside the safety envelope like normal. It takes a few minutes, but the jet bridge will be moved into position and the ground power unit or GPU can be plugged into the plane. On the E-175, it's located on the nose on the captain's side, the left side. And then once the GPU is connected, the flight crew can then shut down the remaining engine and the ground crew remains outside the safety envelope during that time. Once the engines are off, the beacon is turned off and the ground crew can then move in. Can the airplane operate without a working APU? I did some searching on the internet for the MEL or minimal, minimum equipment list book for the E-175. The FAA's own master list that the individual airlines must comply with does indicate that the plane can be operated without a working APU, but has a repair classification C, which usually denotes it has to be repaired within a certain time period. Some have wondered if the engine that was still on was at a higher speed than idle. These GE engines are extremely powerful. For the E-175, you're talking about a max weight of about 85,000 pounds. And by FAA standards, the plane has to be able to climb out on one engine in case the other fails. So it's extremely powerful, even at idle. It's sucking in massive amounts of air. If there's water on the tarmac, it'll suck the water on up at idle. This old video shows a cone being sucked in with an engine at idle. The guy there was extremely lucky. In the case of an E-175 pulling up with an in-op APU, there will be wing walkers on each wing, again at a safe distance. And often the wing walkers will have other duties like baggage handling and will switch to those duties once the wing walking is complete, the airplane's parked. The baggage for the E-175 is on the right side of the plane. For a wing walker transitioning to baggage duty, the shortest distance would be from the wing tip on the left side along the wing under the fuselage to the right side baggage. But that's like the primary first lesson taught to the ground crew, don't do that, walk around. I've mentioned the safety envelope a couple times. Let's dive into that a little bit more. Like an old timey detective novel with a chalk outline around the person on the floor, there's an outline on the pavement that is considered the safety envelope. For instance, here at terminal B at DFW, notice the outline around these parked E-175s. And here's one that looks like it's about to pull in. There are no carts or people inside this safety envelope. Here's a smaller airport, in this case, Midland, Texas. Also, here's Abilene Regional also in Texas. Notice again the outline. In the video I just showed, check out the markings on the pavement. Safety envelope. Now here's Montgomery Regional Airport. It's been reported that the accident happened at gate four here. This is from Apple Maps and I don't know how old it is. There could be some lines there or there may have been some other way to denote the safety envelope. We don't know what the pavement was marked at the time of this tragedy. The ground crew are taught not to walk in front of engines and to remain outside the lines. 
the safety envelope. All right, like I mentioned before, this is an absolute horrible tragedy and one that needs and should be avoided. In talking to ground crew members, it's an incredibly dangerous job that procedures and policies, industry best practices are driven in to them to avoid things like this. We don't know yet why she was near the running engine, but we know that a mother of three is gone and a family is really hurting, and I'm praying for them. If a GoFundMe or similar is set up for the family, I'll add that link to this description, so please check back, and, and if you feel the need to donate, hopefully there will be something there, and I'll, I'll link it all up. That's all for the update on the accident. I want to mention our sponsors who make the reporting possible. Info up on the screen, and also links in the description for some deals and things like that. Just remember, superior judgment trumps superior skills. I do wish you guys a happy new year. I want you to take care and be safe.